So, uh, I've been, uh, going through the Let's Play forums of Something Awful, which I don't, I don't think you ever go through, Chuck. Um, uh, that's okay. They're, they're a bunch of elitist assholes, but they are also very entertaining elitist assholes. I found an interesting Let's Play that I wonder why nobody's done yet. They do Let's Play 4th Edition D&D. Simple. Why does nobody think of that? Target now locked on. Split mule. Uh, don't know. So, uh, one of the things I love, uh, I actually really love it when people record their Dungeons & Dragons game so I can listen to them. Uh, it does, of course, depend on the players. Not everybody can do this right. But, like, listening to, uh, say, Simon and Lewis of the Yogcast doing their D&D games is awesome! And uh, this was, I think, Bob and Threadbear's D&D uh, &D game where... Well, you know what? It isn't 4th edition. It must have been uh, Advanced Dungeons & Dragons. Because um, they're, they're doing... I, um, what? I don't mean to stop you or anything, but I need to make sure you're still in the right direction. Where are you? I'm in the middle of CEO's Buckzoid. Remember, this is X Beyond the Frontier, where the, the game okay. that time forgot. By which I mean All right. the game forgets what time it is. <laughs> well, when you when you get to Minolos, head south, oh. and just give me give me updates as you get there. I found you a quicker path than going through President's End. Holy crap! That guy's real close to me. Entering system, <laughs> Minolos Frontier. Okay, now continue. Uh, what did you say I was looking for, Minolos Frontier? Yeah, I am at Minolos Frontier. Okay, go south. Minolos Frontier City. Go south and just let me know as you hit each territory. Okay. Because uh, hey, we're uh, we're basically pouring straight into Xenon space here. Well, um, uh, I will need to like save because I mean we're we're wasting time going to this location because they haven't invented fucking teleportation yet. <laughs> well, um, I don't know what to tell you. Jeez, yep, there's. Critical. You're still in Boron territory if you want to try to save somewhere. Oh, that's um, true. You can well, do that I'll... at trading stations, right? Yeah. Okay. As you head south, you're going to hit something called Atreus Clouds. Yeah? When you get there, there's a trading station and a pirate base. Ooh, pirate base. That, that That's basically your last stop. Once we hit that, then it's on into Xenon space. Then, then it's it's game time. So, anyway, D&D okay. &D with Target Simon and Lewis, which, on. yes, I've listened to, and it's funny. Ship. Target now locked on. Oh, man, Unknown hang on. There's, ship. There are two Xenon ships that are pissing me off by existing, and I don't Target like Xenon ships on. existing. Xenon ship. Let me see what these are. Dead! Oh, hey, my favorite kind of Xenon. <laughs> Yay, space racism. Target is now in firing range. You know, that's one thing I always liked about DS9. Space well, racism? Well, not specifically the space racism, but, you know, in, in a lot of the Star Trek series, it was so altruistic that there was no bias against anyone, period, based on race or creed or any of that, really. And there are exceptions, of course. Don't, Star Trek nerds, don't hound me about it. But, the, yeah. uh, Chief O'Brien's character in DS9, who is like, I hate Cardassians. Oh, okay, well, certainly you only hate the Cardassians that you fought against who tried to kill you. No, no, no. I hate all of them. <laughs> like, oh, I don't really see how you can do it. Yeah, can. Pretty easy. Pretty easy. You just hate them all. And, and then you don't like any of them. Well, if I remember right, Cardassians are a bunch are of much uh, the main two yeah. They're... Wow, that was weird. Cardassians are a bunch of dick weasels, aren't they? Well, it's tricky. They're they're just the right combination of Republican and guerrilla warfare. It's, <laughs> it's hard to. I always think of the Cardassians as the British pre-revolutionary war. Like, yes, they will come over and take Target all of your stuff and fine. laugh at you while doing it. Oh, and torture. Hey, they love the torture. But they do it because they genuinely believe 
th it's for your benefit. Like they're helping you by doing this. You know, like they're rescuing the savages by bringing them into the real world and teaching them the Cardassian way of life. Huh. So that's that's kind of how I always thought of them. It's it's interesting. The main the main villain in the series is a Cardassian named Gull Dukat. And I'm vaguely familiar with DS9, but that's mostly because of uh, SF Debris uh, reviews. Well, it's a good show. It's a very good show, and it's nice to see that after centuries of space travel and going to all these different planets with all these amazing species, that there is still such a thing as space racism. Target now locked on. <laughs> Gate rolls. You, you know, it warms the cockles of my heart to know that space racism is still around. Yeah. <laughs> Just like in the good old days. Yeah, when That's space was run b by entirely by humans. <laughs> You know, the superior race. <laughs> Cut to a scene of, you know, Dr. Haley staring up into the sky, screaming obscenities at his comet. <laughs> Entering system. <laughs> Guard you aliens! <laughs> Hipster humans, we were racist before okay, we reached the stars. Um, we are now in Rolk's fate. I think we need to go south? Yeah, one more south. Okay. And you'll be at Arteus. Atreus clouds. Which, clouds in space, really? Oh, yeah. I mean, they're crisp. Okay, first off, what are clouds? Clouds are big old piles of evaporated water. And in space... It's really cold, or rather, there's a lack of heat. Let's go up a little bit, and then we're going to head straight south. It should be that away, roughly. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. there we go. So, yeah, clouds in space, man. Clouds in space. That's why there are space flies. Bet you didn't know that. <laughs> no, I did not know that. Yeah, space flies, Chuck. Space flies. <laughs> oh, exciting. Yes, you know what? Nothing says damned exciting like X beyond the frontier. Yay. Mm hmm. Actually, I might, uh, I might get through this a lot quicker than normal. Target now locked on. Gate. Atreus okay. Cloud. Okay, how's it ah, Atreus Cloud. There we go. Because I'm already at the gate. Okay. And now I'm building back up my shields. Well, you's gonna go to whatever place and save. There's a trading station there. It doesn't say where, but, you know, it's in there. Oh, there are plenty of trading stations. Um, well, yeah. And we save. Do 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 do. I'm do, just do, going do, to see. Do, yeah. do, 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 do. clouds. We've been doing this for. Not very long, actually. You've been flying through this map. Haha, <laughs> literally. <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, let me, um... <laughs> let me find a good spot. Ah! There we go. Uh, I believe that is some kind of thing. Yep, that's certainly made of mass, so let's go there. <laughs> okay. I am headed to the uh, the local energy plant, which is a good place to save, because there are tons of them, and they're everywhere. I just need to figure out how to get back in. I guess I could hit the docking computer. Target um, now locked on. <laughs> for, for once and for all, Mike, stop punching the docking computer. <laughs> punch, punch, punch. You, you work, damn it! <laughs> you brought this on yourself. You brought this on yourself! <laughs> Certainly, I am the greatest engineer in the space has ever known! Punch, punch, punch. <laughs> <laughs> Who was your engineering teacher? The Incredible Hulk. Solar power plant <laughs> oh. Please stop. There we go! We are saved, and I have... Do, 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 do. Uh, five... 
million credits. Let's go and upgrade our ship. Okay. At the pirate base. If We're... you want to. I don't I... know what oh, they Oh, shit! Have. What? I died. <laughs> well, at least you saved. Yeah. Oh, man. Thank goodness you saved. That would have been, what, 20, 25 minutes gone? <laughs> Yeah, that would have been hilarious. And by I hilarious, I mean... Hilarious! <laughs> yep. Uh, where is the pirate base? Is it in the north gate? Because they're usually hovering above the north gate. My map only says that... That's, that the Atreus Clouds has a trading station and a pirate base. It doesn't say where. Huh. Okay. Hang on. I'm going to try clicking on it. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh my god, clicking works? I need to do that. Yeah, clicking worked. There are no mouse controls for this game. Oh, I stand wholly corrected. All right, what does what clicking do? Oh, Which clicking. clicking for? <laughs> Sorry, clicking uh, my mouse causes energy weapons to discharge. Uh, I need the pirate base, my friend. The pirate base is, if you're in the center of that section... Uh -huh. You go straight east. East? Yes. Um, you were not kidding about there being a lot of plants. There's a lot of plants. Straight east. From the center, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I guess just fuck it, we'll just go this direction. <laughs> I'm a master of getting lost, but I'm also a master of finding my way or dying while getting lost. Either way, we end up no. in a place we know. Everybody's good at something. Some people are good at crashing into space docks. Yeah. Some people juggle geese. Hey. Some people go forward just at, without turning in order to get someplace. Because I'm frightly, frightened of turning left or right, so instead what I do is I just keep going forward. And I figure eventually with the curvature of the earth I'll get where I want to. But I don't like climbing things, so I just chew my way through obstacles. Like a mouse. I, um... You're, you're talking about real life now, aren't you? I have no clue. I'm off the map. <laughs> what? I'm off the map. So I'm looking now for the pirate base, and I see... I, I don't see a pirate base. Did you get your east and west mixed up? No, I'm... I'm I just went east, like you told me to, until I went off the map. Well, and, well, and now I am off the map. <laughs> I am not on the map. I'm the opposite of on the map. Well, I'm go back. Well, but I was supposed to look for this pirate base. You told me to head east. I did, but I didn't want you to head east into somebody else's territory. <laughs> no, it's, I'm not it's, on it's, another map. I'm off all the maps. What? Yeah, there, there is no map that I am on. <laughs> Hence, off the map. Oh, bruh. Whatever. Okay, right now I'm pretty sure I'm pointed straight east.